Hey all, it's John K here. I uh, just wanted to show a quick video of uh, my latest project. I know I haven't posted a video up for a while, but I've uh, been kind of busy. Uh, so, very quickly, what this setup is, is um, it's a three battery um, switch, if you like, or three battery setup with a Bedini solid state uh, SG as the load between the positives. So. Before we switch this on, I'm just going to show you this. Okay, so this is battery A. It's a 50 amp hour gel cell. This is battery B. It's another 50 amp hour gel cell, 1263. This is my battery C, which is a uh, medium sized car starter battery out of a, out of a Honda CRV. It's a 1261. So I've just had this running. So what I want to do is just take a little bit out of battery C here before I turn this on. So I'm just going to hook up this 50 watt um, quartz halogen bulb and take a little bit of power out of it. You can see that's going to drop down reasonably quickly. While it's doing that I'll give you a quick overview of this circuit. So as I said it's a solid state Bedini SG. The coil here is a coil I got from uh, Enteco. Uh, thank you very much for this coil. It's an 81 strand number 23 uh, coil, uh, each strand measures 3.0 ohms, uh, number 23 or 0.6 uh, millimeter cables. So 81 strands, we're using one strand for the trigger and the other 80 strands are split up between uh, these 16 transistors. There's four strands per transistor, so it's 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. Times 4 is 64. The other 16 I've got split into two strands of eight uh, wires each and they're coming off and they, they are going, you can see there's a set of diodes in there which is some UF5408s which go to the positive out which is going to there, that clamp and the other end of those is going to the negative out which is connected to there which is a black cable going to the negative out to this battery. Um, this is a Bedini uh, large comparator not being used in this demonstration. It's there for a future experiment. Uh, so uh, I've just bypassed there. It's just connected straight to the output post. So uh, another quick word about the circuit. So all 16 transistors are matched MJL21194s. Um, all the boards and the parts are from Tesla Genix. You can see I've got these hooked together with this um, this wire here, which joins the, the two uh, primary negatives together. The only there's no customizations to this board. The only thing on this board is there is no output diodes on the board because I'm using um, the generator one, if you, if you like, from the coil. So there's no need for those. The only other addition is this little circuit board here, which is a Bedini solid state oscillator. So it's just your standard solid state oscillator. The circuit's on the net somewhere. And that is oscillating the other 16. Okay, so that's doing its job there. Uh, okay, so quick look. Battery A, we're at 1274. Battery B's at 1263. Uh, battery C, we're down to 11.90. So this this battery, very quick story. My wife took the car in for service. Of course, the uh, mechanic there said, your battery's a bit tired. I'm going to replace that for you. $150, please. So lucky for me, I salvaged the battery. Um, really haven't done much work on it except charge it back up again. So uh, we're going to pull that off there. So, and... Just put that bulb down there, so that's that's probably going to bounce back up a little bit. But uh, I wanted to take a little bit out of that battery before we hook this up. So hooked up as a uh, three battery switch. The SG solid state SG is running between the two positives, so that positive goes into there, which goes into the coil. Um, the primary negative, if you like, goes to the positive of battery C. And then batteries B and C are hooked together through this black wire to hook the two negatives together. Okay, 
So I think we're about ready to fire this up. Uh, everything is connected correctly. Also got the oscilloscope hooked up there so we can show you a quick scope shot. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and right now we're just going to focus on this. So uh, there's a little switch here. I'm just going to switch that on there. And, and something's not hooked up because it's not working. Hang on one second. Okay, there it is. Okay, so immediately we see battery C starts to charge up. Uh, we can see this is the scope shot. Uh, let me just turn the scale down a wee bit so you can see that. So running at about 952 hertz is about where it wants to run with this battery connected. So as you'd expect, batteries A and B have dropped slightly, 1243, 1232, uh, battery C already up to 13 and a half volts. So not sure if you can hear, hear the coil there. It's got a kind of whistling noise to it. Um, beauty about this circuit is none of these heat sinks get hot at all running at these voltages. So it's pretty much running on the, the potential difference between the two positives, which if you add these two guys together, 1238 and 1228, you get about oh, 24 point 5, 24, 24.6 volts. Um, and there's a difference of about 10 volts, okay. Uh, you can see on the scope, okay, we're up to about 1.1 kilohertz. And you can see that channel 1 max on the right hand side here. I'm not sure if this is focusing or not. Max of 39, so that's the top of those spikes. So it's a normal wave you would expect to see off a solid state SG. Um, looking at battery C again, we've got it up to 15.6-ish volts. I will do a quick, um, if I can not drop the meter, um, show you what this is drawing current-wise. So let me just set this up. Try and zero it. It's pretty close to zero. So drawing about 2.4 amps, 2.5 amps between the two negatives. So not drawing a lot of current. Uh, right back there. Uh, see this battery's up to 16.1. These batteries are probably a little bit small actually for this setup. This can charge much larger batteries. Um, it's pretty much settled where it's going to sit. So 1239, 1229. Okay, and you see they're actually going to bounce back up a wee bit as this battery charges but um, you can see up to 16.2 already when I ran this before I ran it for maybe five to ten minutes this battery was cold boiling doesn't get hot at all um, it's you know room temperature uh, take the caps off fizzing like lemonade so overall set up running pretty well at the moment I haven't done too much testing with it but um, runs pretty well i've got a few other experiments i want to do with this uh so stay tuned hopefully i'll get to those reasonably quickly but just wanted to give you a quick demonstration um once more we'll just just do a quick round 1.24 kilohertz we're up to now uh, i'm not sure if that's focusing too well there we go 37.2 uh, those have dropped off a little bit Battery A, 12.39. Battery B has switched itself off. 12.30, uh, as, as I said, in, uh, goes back up like a hundredth of a volt. Uh, battery C, already up to 16.48 volts. That's about it. Uh, any questions or comments, please post them below in the comment section. Give the video a like if you like what I'm doing and um, if you feel like it you can subscribe too. Thanks for watching. See ya.